Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the United States Senator from Alaska, Dan Sullivan. Well, good evening, everybody. I'm a U.S. Senator, but I'm also a U.S. Marine, so when I'm being escorted out here with a hard charge and Staff Sergeant, I feel very safe up here. So thank you, Staff Sergeant. He's not smiling, but that's all right. So what a great evening. Tonight, I have the privilege to present the 2018 Senator Ted Stevens Leadership Award to a military survivor who exhibits leadership and compassion for fellow survivors despite dealing with their own loss. Now, I think many of you know the TAP story is also very much an Alaskan story. And as Alaska Senator, I can tell you tens of thousands of Alaskans are proud of this. Two great Alaskans were key to TAP's founding. First and foremost, and you already heard from her tonight, Bonnie Carroll. And we are so proud of her. We've been so proud of her. In 2015, we were even more proud of her when she won the highest civilian award for an American citizen, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, and I think she was wearing that tonight, Bonnie, looking great. How about a round of applause for Bonnie? As Bonnie mentioned, she tragically lost her husband, Tom, in a plane crash in Alaska. And rather than shutting the door and closing the curtain on the world, Bonnie enlisted the assistance of Alaska Senator Ted Stevens, who was then the chairman of the Senate Appropriations Committee. And Senator Stevens, just like Bonnie, also played a critical role in making TAPS happen. In 2002, Senator Stevens wrote a letter for TAPS Magazine. His words are a fitting and inspiring description of why he said TAPS has to happen. Here's what Senator Stevens said then. Our nation endures today because of the sacrifice of the men and women who serve and who have served in the uniform of our armed services. We honor these heroes in times of war and in times of peace. But in our tributes to the armed services, we cannot forget that there is a family of heroes, the family that loved, cherished and depended on that service member. Nothing we can do or say can remove the pain or match the sacrifice that they have gone through. But we can try and we can work together to bring about tangible and powerful help that will make a difference for grieving families. In doing so, we will ensure that every family of heroes knows that they are not alone in their loss and in their grief. That is what TAPS is all about. That was from Senator Ted Stevens in 2002. Great words from a great man. And I also want to recognize tonight the wife of the late, great Senator Ted Stevens, who's here tonight, Catherine Stevens. Catherine, will you be recognized? Now, it is my distinct honor to introduce to you Ashlyn McCain, the recipient of the 2018 Senator Ted Stevens Leadership Award. Ashlyn embodies all that is vital about TAPS. Ashlyn McCain and her three siblings grew up in Alaska, where their father taught them to hunt and fish and took them camping. In 2011, Ashlyn's dad, Sergeant First, Class, First, Sergeant First Class Bryant McCain, died while on a mounted patrol in Kandahar Province, Afghanistan. It was his third deployment. 
He had been assigned to the 1st Striker Brigade, 25th Infantry Division at Fort Wainwright, Alaska. When her father died, Ashlyn struggled, as any 14-year-old girl would, over how to move on and how to help her family deal with her father's tragic death. And Ashlyn credits TAPS as creating a turning point in her own journey of grief. She remembers running through the bounce house obstacle course at Good Grief Camp with her older sister. It was the first time they had laughed without reservation since her, her father's death. Ashlyn attended Good, Good Grief Camp for several years after graduating high school with honors and now in college, wants to be an actress. So Gary Sinise, here you go. <laughs> Ashlyn became Taps, a TAPS legacy mentor where she is able and willing in doing good work by helping other children the way her own military mentor helped her. So ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor tonight to congratulate and present to all of you Ms. Ashlyn McCain, who is being escorted by her mentor, Major Oliver Ford, and her mentee, Ms. Vivi Smythley. Thank you, Senator Sullivan, for that wonderful introduction. Thank you to Mrs. Stevens for your support. And thank you to my TAPS family for being there for my whole family and allowing us to share the memories of my father. I am truly humbled and honored to be accepting this award. I know my dad is smiling down on me tonight. He would be very happy to know that I have this support system that makes it easy for us to laugh and cry all at the same time and for it to be okay. It feels just like yesterday that we were hunting, fishing, camping, laughing in my home state, Alaska. He was my best friend. During R&R &R on his last deployment, he went on a moose hunt and he returned home with over 400 pounds of moose meat. Only my dad would wait till the last night before deploying back to Afghanistan to start processing this moose meat. We were up until three in the morning processing moose meat, making it into sausages and burgers. That was my last memory with my dad. Just the two of us, elbow deep in moose meat. Later that morning, we took him to the airport and I watched him walk away. Little did I know that would be the last time that I would see him alive. On November 13th, 2011, there was a knock on our door. I opened the door to two men in uniform bearing the news that my dad would never return home. I felt like the floor beneath my feet was ripped out from underneath me. My hero was taken from me, and at the age of 15, my life was turned upside down. There would be no more nights of moose meat, no more hunting or fishing. He wasn't at my high school graduation, and he won't be able to see me graduate from college. He will never be able to disapprove or approve of a boy I bring home, and he won't get to walk me down the aisle on my wedding day. We won't ever get to skydive like we planned, and I'll never get to place my children in his arms. My dad was taken away from me, and that has left an ache in my heart that I feel every day. 
My biggest struggle was learning how to live with this empty space in my heart. Other than my family, I didn't know anyone whose father had who had died in the military. There wasn't anyone who understood the finality of his death. There was so much pressure and pain. I wasn't really living. I was existing day to day. Six months after my dad's death, we found TAPS, and I went to Good Grief Camp here in Washington. I met others my age who had also lost a parent. When I heard how far out others were from their loved one's death, I realized I could make it at least that far. We had tried counseling, but nothing compared to the healing works that TAPS has provided for us. They have sneaky ways of having you talk about your struggles, and they help you imagine a different path than what you imagined. My second year at TAPS, I met Ollie, my mentor. He was volunteering with TAPS while he was stationed at the British Embassy in Washington. And he's remained with me even after he returned to England. Throughout my years at Good Grief Camp, he has become a friend and a member of our family. He even flew out from London to attend my high school graduation. And he is here with me tonight. My mom, Leanne, older sister, Brianna, younger sister, Chloe, and youngest of us all, my brother, Wyatt, are also with me here tonight. Because of our mutual love, <laughs> because of our mutual love and support, we are here today traveling a different path than we imagined, yet strengthened by the knowledge that TAPS has helped us define our new normal. Since our first event with TAPS, our family has grown and continues to grow each year. As other mentors stay connected with us, visit my father's grave, and support us regardless of the challenges of, that we face. Through our TAPS family, there is so much love and support. I don't know where I would be without them. I love that I am able to pay it forward and help other kids who have, got, who have lost someone important in their lives. Kids who grew up in these camps, these good grief camps, and are now old enough to serve as mentors, are called legacy mentors. I was nervous at first. How could I be as good of a mentor as Ollie was to me, to another kid? They are so amazing. With support from the mentors, I took the leap and became a mentor myself. I met the most adorable girl named Viviana, and she became my mentee. Since becoming her mentor, I have learned more about my grief and how I can help those with similar losses. I feel truly blessed to have Vivi in my life. I have grown so much since my dad died. I have become stronger, happier, and learned how to live life to the fullest. I have an amazing support system and my own little mentee to look after. I am currently pursuing my dream of becoming an actress, and I'm blessed to work at Disney World. I am also a student of the University of Central Florida. I cannot express my gratitude to TAPS enough. They showed me how to continue life with that gap. They showed me that I can live with my grief. So thank you, Oliver, for being the best mentor, for allowing me to be a part of your life and your family. Thank you to all the mentors who have volunteered. Thank you, Bonnie for founding such a remarkable organization. Thank you to my family for your supporting me and pushing me to pursue my dreams. Thank you, Vivi, for allowing me to be your mentor. And thank you, Michaela, for welcoming me into your family and your life. I would also like to thank God for guiding me. Thank you to all who have come out tonight to support TAPS, who has taught me how to remember the love, celebrate the life, and share the journey. Thank you.